when I grew up uh, in the early 30s, I was born in 1927, uh, when, that I can remember uh, on our property, we horse farmed everything. And we had a, we had a, a lot, a lot of open field uh, where we raised hay for for the crop for for the horses and cows that we had. But the vineyard, we had uh, two basic plows that we used that were horse drawn. Uh, the vineyards, our vineyards, were all planted eight foot by eight foot, and we in those days cultivated the the fields in both directions, in other words, north, south, and east, and west. And <clears throat> for plowing the field, you, we had a, a team of two horses would go down through the rows, and we would ac make, actually, would, we would make six passes through each row to plow the vineyards early in the spring. Then we would wait and it would be early in the spring, late February or first part of March in those days. And then we would have a, a actually using the same basic plow and reverse the situation and, and we would plow the dirt back away from the vine to the centers where it, it may, and we would make two passes with that. And then we had a, it, and had a little, uh, what we call a single plow and that was pulled by one horse. And you would to plow the dirt that was right next to the vine away from it. Then immediately after that, within the next, next few days, you had to have a, a harrow and go through and kind of smooth the clods up a bit. So uh, actually to till the soil uh, originally in the springtime, it probably would take 10 times as long as it does today. Well, now you can take a tractor and go through a, a vineyard and make one pass with a, a, a disc and, and a roller or, or clod breaker, or whatever you want to pull behind it. And you would actually pulverize the soil a lot more than you did in, in all those months. <laughs> I'm not saying that's for the best because you plowed the, you plowed the fields a, a lot deeper than we work the soils today. So I think, I think we're building a, the vine roots are, are uh, shallower today than they were in those days. Uh, I don't for, personally foresee vineyards to live as long as they did in those days. Mm -hmm.